Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and you are watching to the MKR developer channel. In this video I will show you how to pass data from the fragment to the activity. This is the fifth video of this playlist. In the previous videos I showed you how to use the fragment, how to pass data from the activity to the fragment and how to transfer data between the fragments. If you haven't watched those videos and you want to watch them, uh, I will put the link of the whole playlist here on top and also you can find this link down below in the description of this video. Uh, I was searching about this uh, topic on the internet and uh, the similar videos were uh, introducing uh, the intent as the way that we can pass data from the fragment to the activity but uh, I think this is not the best way to use intent to do this uh, for this first of all I will show you how to use an intent to pass data from the fragment to the activity then I will show you how to use interface to do this and the best way I think is uh, using an interface to pass data from the child to the parent I mean the fragment to the activity so let's start with the intent here uh, I have a fragment for this and in the layout of the fragment I have an edit text and a button and the idea is to write a text here and press send text and the data will be sent to the activity and in the main activity I have a frame layout to hold my fragment and also I have a text view to display the received text in the uh, first fragment that KT I've initialized my edit text my button and here I have the function set on click listener for my button after pressing the button the text of the edit text will be stored into this uh, string value then I've created an intent and I pass the context and I pass the main activity as the destination of this intent then I use put extra and this double x is the name of uh, my uh, message and here is the value of the message that is here and I put it into the intent then I passed uh, the intent to the main activity by this line now let's go to the main activity here I've created an intent again and uh, here I took the data I extract the data by using this intent and I stored it into this value which is a string and I named it uh, a string text I used get uh, a string extra and I passed uh, the name that I used into the fragment here double X and here again double X and these two names should be uh, similar should be completely equal then uh, here I have the text view and I've initialized it and uh, txt1.txt is equal to this uh, string and the uh, stored data into this value will be displayed into this text view now we can check it on the emulator here I have this edit text and I will write and by pressing send text it will be displayed here into the text view this is the uh, first way by using intent but as you noticed when I pressed the uh, send text the activity was uh, recreating and uh, now I have two times open main activity and if I write anything else here and pressing send text again the main activity will be recreated so I have now uh, three layers on top of each other 
one activity one fragment one activity one fragment and again one activity and one fragment so if i press the back first the fragment will be closed then the activity will be closed then again i have more layers again the fragment will be closed then the activity then the fragment and then the activity and the application will be closed finally so using this way we'll put uh, the activity and the fragment into the back stack uh, several times more and more uh, and i think it's not acceptable and having this kind of application is not good and uh, will make the user uh, bored and annoyed so uh, we are using interface to pass the data and let's check how we can use interface for this i will comment the text the codes about intent in the main activity and also in the fragment now i will uh, open the project view and right click on the package that is holding the fragment and the activity press new and cut lane class file here i will select the interface and then i will write maybe my interface here in my interface i need a function so function i will call it transferred message sorry and i will pass a, a string type value and i will call it message msg short for message and the type is a string that's enough for the uh, interface but if you want to pass uh, several data more than one and with different types you can add uh, like different functions with different type of uh, values like integer maybe boolean short uh, float and every type of uh, data that you want okay let's go to the first fragment here i have to initialize and make an instance of my fragment so uh, sorry my interface my interface equals to activity as my interface and that's enough and here i have to pass the data into this uh, function in my interface I will write here the name of my interface dot then the function is here transferred message and I will pass the stored data here msg as you remember I took the text from the edit text and I put it into this value then I will pass it here into this function now my data is here in the interface and in my uh, main activity i have to extract the data here i will write my interface and here uh, click on the bulb and implement members i have only one function so i will select it and if you have uh, several functions for uh, in 
passing several data you can uh, select all of them actually you have to select all of them i'm pressing ok and the function will be overrided here and just i need to write txt1 which is my text view and i've initialized it here dot text equals to this is my data message and i will extract it from this function and display it in the text view let's uh, check it on the emulator okay it's ready here and this is uh, my transferred message and by pressing back the fragment will be closed and again the activity will be closed and if i press it multiple times no matter just two clicks will close my application so as you see the best way uh, to pass the data from the child to the parent from the fragment to the activity is using an interface i hope you enjoyed this video and if you are satisfied of this content you can support me by uh, clicking on the uh, link in the description uh, below and buy me a coffee if you find this video interesting, please remember to share it with your friends and give me a thumbs up. And if you have any question, please write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Remember to subscribe to the channel for new videos. Have a good time. See you in next videos. Bye bye.